Do you want early access? Do you want uncut reactions? If so, then check out our Patreon. Link in the description down below. I honestly never thought I'd live to see the day where I would be able to see Ewan McGregor again as Obi-Wan Kenobi. Hello there. Hello there, yes. (laughs) So, when I heard that they were teasing this series, you know, that this series was on the horizon, I was very excited. Because I remember back uh, back in the day when um, the Star Wars films, it was right after, uh, right after Solo happened <clears throat> that Disney had a bit of a, a decision to make when it came to their uh, making of Disney, or of uh, Star Wars movies. They decided to lay off of releasing non-mainline Star Wars films because Rogue One was a success, but Solo was not. Then, of course, the mainline Star Wars movies just kept going downhill in terms of returns. The saving grace for Star Wars thus far has been the series, the the TV series, the miniseries. Back when they did the Solo film, they said, oh yeah, we're also going to do a Boba Fett film, we're also going to do a... a film starring Obi-Wan Kenobi. And then that got transferred into, oh, we're not going to do movies, but instead we're going to do miniseries on uh, on Disney+. Plus. And thus, here we find ourselves all this time later. But, of course, with a big delay, because Kathleen Kennedy basically came in and said, oh yeah, they do not fit her vision of modern-day Star Wars media. And then, of course... No, she was literally just being retaliatory towards Star Wars fans. She was like, oh, you're going to complain about what we've made? Then you won't get anything. Yeah, and I think it took Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni and all of them basically waking up the beast on on the, on Disney+, Plus that eventually Disney was like, okay, well, I guess people do want to see these things. Yeah, we do. We want to see good quality, like work being done by people who actually like the Star Wars universe. Not someone who is trying to bend the Star Wars universe to fit their agenda. It's unfair to judge like the entire Star Wars fandom as a whole based upon the actions of a few. I'm not going to call everyone at Disney a bunch of hacks because of Kathleen Kennedy and her and her like staff basically trying to shape Star Wars to how they think it should be instead of just letting Star Wars be what it always has been. I guess without further ado, this is episode one of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Let's see what happens. Oh. You believe it's this boy? Obi-Wan is ready. I am ready to face the trials. Because he will become a great Jedi Knight. He will bring balance. Obi-Wan is a great mentor. As wise as Master Yoda. And as powerful as Master Windu. I see you becoming the greatest of all the Jedi. I want more. And I know I shouldn't. How do you know the ways of the Force? My mentor taught me everything about the Force. I found a way to save you. Wasted by the dark side, young Skywalker has become. It's over, Anakin! I have the high ground! <laughs> you underestimate of my power! It was said that you would destroy this and not join them! No, it was said that he would bring balance to the Force. He did bring balance to the Force. The Force was overwhelmingly in favor of the light side at that point in history. We must take them somewhere where the Sith will not sense their presence. My wife and I will take the girl. We've always talked of adopting a baby girl. Luke. And what of the boy? Luke. Do Tatooine, do his family send him? I will take the child and watch over him. Your own master. How to commune with him, I will teach you. I like that cut of all uh, of the prequel trilogy because it makes yeah. it seem so much better than it actually was. <laughs> Sad but true. I mean, it... Oh, Jesus. Oh. Damn. Huh? There's a 
it's just like her moves, like it's like a boss. Like oh yeah, she's... I love the jump reflex and stuff. And look at her, she is defending those children with her life. Yep. Try and find a way out. Oh man. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Key. Is it the Inquisitors? Yes, it is. You know what we do? You hunt Jedi. In actuality, I would say, the Jedi hunt themselves. Jedi cannot help what they are. Their compassion leaves a trail. Is there a the Jedi saber mark somewhere? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Perhaps the locals are stealing from you, threatening you. Like so what is the Jedi to do? Now, if he were smart, he'd keep moving, but the Jedi code is like an itch. His compassion has been his undoing. There. You'll never find us all. You are reckless. What is that to scrap? Scraps are all we have left. Then we should be hunting bigger prey. You will forget this fixation with Kenobi, or I will relieve you of your duties. Is that clear? Yes. It's only half. Please, I have a family. <laughs> One more word, I take it all. Something you want to say? Apologize if you hear Kitty ASMR. He's over here licking his paws. Oh, ain't nothing wrong with that. The old hermit who lives out in the middle of nowhere. I'll give you. I'll give you fifty. Yes, I have some parts stolen. I need a new processor board. If you're going to steal my parts and then sell them back to me, could you at least clean them first, as a courtesy? <laughs> 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 what an asshole. Oh. There's hey, Luke. Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was probably watching him like that right before he left, and he ended up saving him from the sand people. That's. That's the toy that he... Oh, that's the toy that he had in A New Hope. I thought I saw you in town, but I wasn't sure. I didn't think you'd survived. You're making some kind of mistake. They're hunting me. You have to help me. Take this. Walk into the middle of the desert and bury it in the ground. Live a normal life. What about the people that need us? What about the fight? The fight is done. We lost. The time of the Jedi is over. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh-oh. She insisted you would find it amusing, Your Highness. <laughs> One of them definitely got the better yeah, living it. situation of the Not two. Bad. Absolutely. No Lola for the rest of the day. But she didn't do anything. Shut her down. I promise I won't do it again. But she will. She's gonna steal the. She's gonna steal you know, the robot. I can feel you doing that. <laughs> Come on. Mm, that's probably not good. I want you to stay away from him. We don't need anything from you, Ben. It's just a toy. It's a lot more than that. There's more to life than your farm, Owen. We talked about this. When the time comes, he must be trained. Like you trained his father? There is a Jedi hiding on this planet. We need to know where he is. You will be rewarded well. Or you'll be punished. Riva! Hand go first. You have no rights here. We're not under the Empire. <laughs> You know something? I have no love for the Jedi. Jedi are vermin. I kill vermin on my farm. You protect your family. You think you could protect them from me? Tell me where the Jedi is! 
or this man and his family die. You know, if you remember anything, rewards will be given. You are too impulsive. I'm sick of wasting time. We spent the last ten years looking for him. <laughs> Maybe you've been looking in the wrong places. That's... What is it you think you will gain by capturing him? When I'm old. I say, it's good that we're seeing Alderaan as it was, you know, before it got blown up in A New Hope. I'm, I'm glad we're actually seeing Alderaan and it's like it's hierarchy and how it's set up like this is something i've always been curious about you're not one of us you're not even a real organa okay you're scared of him your father you want him to like you so you repeat what he says even though you don't really know what it means never made one decision for yourself in your entire life and you never will mm. ripped Read him like a book and just decimated him. I don't want to be a senator. Which is why you'll probably be one of the best. Plus, imagine the look on your cousin's face when you get to boss him around for real. <laughs> Hello, princess. Why are you here? Just waiting. For Wait. what? Flee! <laughs> Holy shit, it's yep. Flea. I had heard he was in this. Uh oh, kidnapping. A royal kidnapping. These obstacles don't all seem entirely good enough to no. stop them from chasing a kid. No. This chase is a little goofy. Oh, crap. Leave here, Bell. Oh no. Oh, they found him. She's headed for Dayu. You should not have come. I'm not the man you remember. Well, you're going to have to be. I can't leave the boy. This isn't about the boy, and you know it. You couldn't save Anakin, but you can save her. There is no one I trust more with my child than you. <laughs> Don't cut too deep. I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> Give it time. Lola! Jedi will hunt himself. Solid start. Very solid start. Holy shit. That was good. That was really good. I it was love... definitely better than the first episode of The Book of Boba Fett. Oh, dude, again. I, I love Jon Favreau, but... The direction on this was just so tight and so. so who directed well done. this? Uh, Deborah Chow. Okay. She she directed episodes of uh, The Mandalorian. Her, Dave Filoni, and Rick Fumayiwa are like the three main directors and creator creative forces behind The Mandalorian. Okay. And Jesus, that was great. That was so good. Ugh. Anyway. Um, See if there's a... I don't know if there's a post-credit or uh, after credit scene or anything like that. Jimmy Smits, we knew that. Oh. Oh, it's being stupid. Okay, and... No, uh, no after credits. Just a ton of credits. Yeah, no after credits, okay. So yeah, there we go. That was a hell of a starter for Obi-Wan. And I cannot wait for this series to keep going. I know that there's only the first two episodes out right now. Um, they're taking their time with releasing this. And that's perfectly fine with me. They can take their time. And 
Ewan McGregor portraying Obi-Wan with PTSD and just this feeling of, you know, just guilt, this overlaying guilt that he failed not only Anakin, he not only failed uh, as a as a Jedi Master, but he failed the Jedi Order. Like, that's a big thing that he is going to have to come to terms with if he wishes to get past it and be a good mentor to Luke. And the one, the Obi-Wan that we got in, in A New Hope is one who is, you know, worn down by the years and, you know, worn down from being a hermit for all those years. And I think in that time, he will have come to terms with the loss of, you know, the Jedi Order and his failure to train Anakin and keep Anakin on the light side of the Force. And I'm hoping that near, like, sometime in this, he's able to fully commune with Qui-Gon Jinn and Qui-Gon is able to help him come to terms with it as well. Because Qui-Gon, you know, I guarantee you Qui-Gon, you know, he'll tell Obi-Wan, you know, that he's proud of the Jedi that he's become. Yeah, it is... It is kind of weird that all the masters seem to become force ghosts and Qui-Gon's just kind of MIA for him as well. Well, I think, again, Qui-Gon, he's... I mean, we know that he is capable of ghost, you know, like force being a force ghost because of Yoda saying it in Episode 3, but we've never seen it. Mm-hmm. Now, we were giving a, given a hint of it in Episode 2... When Anakin was slaughtering the uh, the Sand People, uh, when Yoda was listening in on it and was hearing it, he could hear Qui Gon's voice in the background. And again, there's there's so many things that you know, that I would love to see them do with Ghost Qui Gon Jinn. But again, we'll see we'll see when we get there. But a great starter episode, truly. I got to applaud the the staff of uh, you know the writers, the perform like the sets, the performances. All of this was really good. I'll say the only downside was the chase scene with Leia in the woods. I would have instead just had Leia get straight up get kidnapped and not have her run you know uh, running through the forest trying to out parkour these supposed professional. Like professional thieves and kidnappers, that's my only downside. I'll say, but yeah, this was a great episode, and oh, I can't wait for episode two. Can we just go ahead and watch that now? Nope. Damn it. Got too much to do. Yeah, we do. Anyway, I think that's gonna do it. This was Obi Obi Wan Kenobi episode one. Can't wait to keep going with this. What do you all think? Are you all excited to see more of Obi-Wan? Let us know in the comments down below. And I guess until next time, signing off, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. We'll see you later, everybody. Peace. Mm-hmm.